Well, to talk more about raw materials, I am joined now in the studio by Dr. Christian Reichert of the Federal Institute for Geosciences and Natural Resources in Hanover. We thank you very much for being with us today. So you have brought one of these manganese nodules. Tell me, I want to ask you, there must be an easier way of extracting manganese from these and from, or in a more sustainable way of extracting manganese from these nodules. Yes, in, uh, in terms of economics, it's a better way. It's cheaper to, to produce them from mining sites on land. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, regarding uh, sustainability, uh, I would doubt that a little bit because you can see if you have huge mining sites uh, on land, you have a devastated uh, landscape. You have uh, lots of efforts to, to restore the original uh, situation uh, in a certain sense this also holds for deep sea mining sites but uh, you you have a better control on this mm -hmm. and uh, and of course there are very strict regulations for for mining even for exploration on this type of of resources and uh, they there will be uh, strong um, uh, regulations also to, that the the um, uh, miners and the mining companies countries have to observe uh, these regulations. All right, but despite this, methods for extracting raw minerals, materials are becoming more and more aggressive, including ex this exploration on the ocean bed floor, getting these manganese nodules. Um, will, how will the seabed suffer? Well, um, by in, in uh, at first uh, uh, view, in the first view, by the pure mechanical uh, destruction, uh, the, the methods which are just in development, uh, they have to be constructed that way that uh, the impact is uh, minimized. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the the whole process uh, in in this development uh, will be accompanied by observers by the International Seabed Authority, and in cases that uh, the the impact is too strong, and that the habitat or the biosphere will be destroyed too much uh, compared to the use of what you can get mm -hmm, from it, mm -hmm. uh, then this can lead even to a withdrawal of the license. All right. How important do you think seafloor mining? will become in the future? Um, well, in our view, it is uh, just a safe site to have uh to have a production place which cannot be taken away by other, by other parties. Because uh, this is under the administration of an international uh, body, uh, the International Seabed Authority, and uh, is not influenced uh, so much by geopolitical uh, uh, influences. So uh, even so, it might be not economical in, in, in present uh, times, uh, but possibly in the future, but the, the, the big advantage is uh, that you have a site, uh, a safe site, uh, where you could produce these resources from okay. once in the future. All right. Well, Dr. Christian Reichert, we're going to have to leave it there for now, but we thank you very much for joining us today here at Tomorrow Today. You're welcome.